Hi, welcome to Myeloma Labs. My name is Craig Hoffmeister from Ohio State University, and these slides were supported in part by more Multiple Myeloma Opportunities for Research and Education, for which Nancy Kaufman is president. Antibodies, in general, are produced to fight infections, and antibodies are also known as immunoglobulins. These are proteins produced by normal plasma cells to fight infection, and they are also produced by myeloma cells. These immunoglobulins, or antibodies in the blood, are used by doctors as a gross estimation of how many myeloma cells are in the patient. Now an antibody is complicated. It is made up of a heavy chain on the inner part of this diagram and a light chain as two spoilers on the outside. The heavy chains are named IgA, IgG, and IgM to name a few, and the light chains are either kappa or lambda, and hence an antibody is often described as a combination of heavy chains and light chains, such as an IgA kappa antibody or an IgG lambda antibody. Normal plasma cells make a wide variety of normal antibodies. IgG, IgA, IgM, and all different varieties of kappa and lambda. Myeloma cells make just one antibody. And this antibody usually is an IgG or an IgA and has either kappa or lambda associated with it. Sometimes the kappa or the lambda part of the antibody is free floating in the serum. We think that every patient should know the status of their immunoglobulins and their light chains to know where their treatment's working. Each patient can get a total IgG, IgA, or IgM, and then what you're looking for is the monoclonal portion of that total antibody to figure out how much of that antibody is being made by that patient's myeloma cells. Monoclonal stands for a single clone, and in essence, it's thought that it's a single clone of myeloma cells that is making one type of antibody. And the M protein, or the monoclonal protein, is the amount of antibodies made by your myeloma cells. And this is a proportion of the total number of antibodies in the serum. Now this is confusing. Let's get into this more. There are three tests to measure myeloma proteins in your blood. The serum protein electrophoresis, otherwise known as the SPEP. The serum free light chain, which is a blood test measuring either the serum kappa or lambda light chains. And the urine protein electrophoresis. This is a 24 hour urine sample measuring either kappa or lambda light chains. It measures the total protein in the urine, but it, in addition measures how many kappa or lambda light chains are in that 24-hour urine sample. If you have an IgG kappa or an IgG lambda myeloma, we think that each evaluation where your doctor wants to get a bead on where is your myeloma at that day, the doctor should order an IgG, which measures the total amount of your immunoglobulin G, a serum protein electrophoresis, which measures the amount of monoclonal protein, which is made by the myeloma cells, and this is a subset of the total amount of IgG in the patient's blood as well as a serum-free light chain, which measures the involved light chain, either kappa or lambda in the blood. If you have an IgA kappa or an IgA lambda myeloma, we think that the doctor should order an IgA, which measures the total level of immunoglobulin A in the blood, and a serum-free light chain test, which measures the amount of involved light chain, kappa or lambda in the blood. Our recommendations differ from many guidelines which suggest to use a serum protein electrophoresis for patients with IgA myeloma. 
we believe that the total IgA in the vast majority of myeloma patients provides a more accurate measure of the status of their disease. If your myeloma is not able to make a heavy chain, then it may just make a light chain. And in, in this case, if you have a kappa light chain myeloma, we recommend that you have a serum-free light chain assay performed on your blood to measure the amount of kappa light chains in the blood, as well as a 24-hour urine sample for a urine protein electrophoresis, which will measure the kappa light chains in the urine. If you have a lambda light chain myeloma, again, this would be a serum-free light chain in the blood and a urine protein electrophoresis performed on a 24-hour urine sample. If you are looking at the results of your laboratories on sheets provided to you by your doctor, be cautious and aware that sometimes the units are presented in grams and sometimes they're presented in milligrams. In addition, the amount of myeloma protein on a blood test has little to do with the amount of myeloma protein on a urine test. And if you're looking at a blood test on one day and a urine test on another, you can't compare them. In essence, our view is to order all the tests whenever you want to find out the status of a patient's myeloma.